Hey everyone, Sir Line of Beef here, and we are currently on Comsden Farm here, switching it up a bit from our uh, Terra Life Plus playthrough. Figured we'd try something a little bit different here, um, just so we just don't have the same thing getting posted over and over again. Um, I figured I, I've had this playthrough in the works for a while now, um, just never got around to it, and you know, we figured we'd uh, we'd give it a shot here. Um, is that gate not open, I guess? Okay. Um, so as you see here, we're just starting at the uh, at the main farm home. Uh, got our uh, Mercedes Benz Sprinter here, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drive around. I'm gonna do a quick tour here, uh, at least for the people on YouTube, because um, I know it's gonna be a bit different. You know, obviously, we are doing the stream right now, but um, we're just going to start off with a quick tour for everyone. So when uh, you see this on YouTube here, uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and head over to the first farm here. Obviously, we've swapped out all the equipment for modded equipment and all that stuff. So excuse me, dog. All right, so here is the first farm. All right, and we will be getting cows. All right, so first farm here, we have our uh, JCB Agri Pro. We got our. Uh, Brogan trailer here, Brogan. And we have our Class Ox Axion 960 here. We got the special edition there that's got the orange design on the back. I don't believe I put anything in any of these. Like I said, this has actually been sitting for a little while, and I haven't been on the map, so... Oh, yep, okay, so we got some Converlin uh, mowers here, yep. And then I think this is empty here, actually. Uh, yes, it is, okay. Alright, so that's all that's here at this farm. Of course, we got our... Uh, I believe this is wheat here that's ready to go. Uh, let's see, yep, we, and as you see, we have precision farming on, uh, because we are doing, this is going to be kind of like a hyper-realism, kind of as, as realistic as I can get it with the mods that we have available. Now, I'm sure there's going to be mods that I'm not aware of, um, or maybe just didn't feel like adding while as I was searching through Mod Hub, which is pretty much where all of the I got all the mods for this playthrough. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot more crazy stuff out there, um, you know, on third party insights, but this is mostly just Mod Hub stuff. Uh, so let's see here. All right, and then here's our farm, and of course, as you're gonna notice, we got a lot of large equipment. Um, I figured if we were gonna handicap ourselves with as realistic as we can get it, we're going to at least start with some decent equipment. So we'll turn that off. Uh, we have our Converlin sprayer here. Uh, we've got a Teagle manure spreader. We're going to be using this for lime. This is mostly going to be for herbicide. It's got the uh, spot sprayer add on there. Um, over here, we have a uh, Converlin solid fertilizer spreader. That will be doing that for fertilize. Uh, Got an Axion 870 here. This is kind of like the special edition, as you see, kind of that deal. Um, I didn't do any of the crazy like tire designs on there. I still wanted to keep it class looking, just change the wheels up. So um, then, of course, that's an, another theme here. Kind of went with all kind of special edition class tractors. <laughs> um, we got the Tour Edition Zerion. Uh, we got our Colty plow, and then we got a roller, because we have, if I'm not mistaken, everything uh, is turned off. Oh, there it is. 
Yep. So crop destruction, periodic plowing, field stone, weeds, they're all on. Um, and I don't plan on collecting any of the stones. So that's what the roll is for, because not only do the fields need to be rolled uh, for like the, you know, the crop bonus or whatever, yield harvest bonus, um, this will also get rid of the rocks by pushing them into the ground. Then as we come over here, there's our header, as you guessed it, another Coloss tra uh, vehicle. Uh, here is our bale trailer. Now, this is the one thing that they have cheated on a little bit. We do have auto load. Um, we probably will be using that a little bit, um, but I'm gonna try and stay away from it. Let's see here. All right, so we have Porsche uh, Cultro here. This is actually going to be a mulcher, so we'll be using this to mulch. Uh, we have our Horsch, uh cedar here, uh, and this is a direct drill, so we don't need to cultivate or anything like that. We have the Colty plow for when we need to plow. Uh, Cover and uh, round baler here, and of course the combine which we got a uh, try on 730. Uh, this is actually off of, um, I, I can't remember, is it LSFM, uh, LFSM, I can't remember. I believe it's LSFM um, mods. Uh, does it say, it doesn't say there. But if we look at our mods here, it's this one right here. This is the one, the class. Yeah, LSFM, there it is. Um, that's the website I got this. Now you also do need to have uh, this other mod. It's not going to show in here, but it's a real GPS mod. Um, we can just get those both from there. Um, really neat uh, combine, in my opinion. Looks really good. I like the the design. And there's a bunch of different colors, but again, wanted to stick with the uh, class theme there. Now, as far as the ultra realism, I'm sure you've seen a couple things here. Don't want to that loud noise over there. I don't want to stand over here too much, but we have the um, lubricating grease right there. That's going to be part of it. We have the motor oil. That's also going to be part of it. Uh, we have our wraps and twines for the baler. That's again also part of this here. Um, if you can see here, kind of, I can bring this up because we do have course play installed. Uh, we have the depth fluid so we're going to have that on there as well on top of all of the other things here oops wrong button uh, now as far as the field realisms we have maze plus we have precision farming uh, all of the rea mods as far as like the um, uh, center of gravity the types of wheels and all that stuff, those are all added on here. So there's a, physics should be a lot more realistic here. Um, slip destroys crops. We have that one on here as well. So uh, you'll see that as we're driving around here, once we get started doing some things, you'll see that the tires, they kind of slip. They'll actually kind of tear up the ground a little bit. Um, so we got that added on. Um, let's see, obviously all the real dirt things, but that's just more visual. Um, and as far as I can think of off the top of my head, that, uh, the, oh, manual attach. Obviously that's, that's a given. We got manual attach, um, automatic raising and lowering. So the implements, as you see, here, I'll show, I can actually show you on this one right here with the fertilizer spreader. So come over here, start this up, Let's back up to this a little bit more here. All right, so get that attached there, oops. And then we gotta connect the cables and the PTO. But as you noticed, it's still on the ground. So once we get in here, we're gonna have to you know, raise it up just like which it normally does um, in game. But we're going to have to do all of that manually. Oops, yep. There we go. Pull that forward, shut that back off. All right, so that is everything there. That's pretty much how this series is going to go. Uh, 
let's get into starting the crop here. So obviously this is already, um, I went ahead and I did start off, start us off with purchasing all of the uh, field info. So we already have all of that. Uh, let's see, I don't believe there's any, yeah, there's nothing in that crop up there. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what do we have that's so cultivated? It needs to be plowed, okay. So let's start off soft here. We'll go ahead and get the Zerion over there and we'll get that started uh, with the Culti Plow. Then after we get uh, after we get this started, we'll start on the uh, the harvest. Which while I'm here, might as well go ahead and get this door open because we're gonna need that for the tipper. This the only entrance into this field. Wouldn't be surprised if it was, so we'll just start here. That will close that. Oops, if I don't get stuck in the plow. Okay, well, let's try that again. Here we go. All right, let's back this up. And let's see, where does this want to start us here? So we're going to change that to first waypoint. We're going to do three headlands should be enough, I believe. Uh, we're going to do smooth. There's no bypass or anything there that we need to do. Generate. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and start that. Oh yeah, it actually does look like there is a bit of a uh, texture change there. I didn't think there was going to be much of a change, and that's uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to do the uh, course play, because I was like, we're not going to see any difference here, but yeah, it looks like there is a bit of a difference. There's nothing, yeah, nothing's planted here. Alright, perfect. So... We got that done now let's go ahead and if we can find it there it is the door's already open all right don't suppose we really need to yeah i guess we do just to put in a little bit better of a spot all right, let's go ahead and have that up. Yep. Oh, we can 
just do it over here actually, this will probably work. Lots of getting in and out of the, the vehicles. And we're probably going to see that uh, detach hoses or detach PTO uh, warning flash a lot. <laughs> This is automatic, because I believe you'd, those pick up automatically in real life. Let me go ahead and unfold everything. One thing we do have to do, though, is come out and attach. Uh, there's a hair hold on. Uh, oh, there we go. I forget if you have to hold it down sometimes or if you have to uh, just do a quick press. That's just a quick press. All right. Let me just pull the help menu up. Uh, so we have our straw swap enabled. I don't believe we need to do anything else for that. So we're going to close that. And let's start this harvest. And actually, as I remember here, while we uh, start have this harvest going now, uh, another one of the kind of realism mods that we have added on here is the uh, Beware of Straw mod. So as we're going around and we start, you know, going up and down in our rows and stuff like that, we want to make sure we're picking the header up and not running through that straw. Right, but uh, now that uh, everybody's kind of aware of the kind of um, setup that we have going with this farm with the uh, kind of the realism and the different things there, let me, you know, in the, the comments, at least for my YouTube peeps, how you uh, feel about this and how we uh, should continue. Um, this also does not mean that the uh, Terra Life Plus is uh, stopping. Just wanted to bring a bit of uh, variety to the channel here um, for a little bit, so it's not going to be the same thing, you know, over and over and over again. I'm probably going to go ahead and um, finish up this headland here, and then I'm just going to get it on a uh, regular worker, probably. There, <laughs> there goes our Zerian. Looks like he's just now finishing the first headland, and. You know, actually, until I started doing some of the course play stuff on the Terra Life Plus uh, playthrough, I actually wasn't even going to have course play on here. Um, let me zoom out a little bit more to kind of make that tractor a bit quieter. Um, but, you know, I kind of realized that it is going to make it a bit easier to where we can multitask doing some things here and get some more things done quicker. And then also, on top of that... Um, you know, in, in real life, you would have a, you know, you would probably be handling all of this by yourself anyways. You know, you would have people helping you out doing things. So, in any ways, I, in, in any way, I feel like that kind of adds to the realism for us. That we have, you know, 
obviously hired help that's also doing doing jobs. And it looks like we're gonna have to get a we're gonna have to get a green card out here soon, which you know that hey that's fine. I'm not going to uh, also have the realism to the degree of, you know, like, oh, well, I got to run to the tractors and first person only and, and all of that. We're still going to, it's still a game. We're still going to have fun with it, um, which is with a lot of uh, additional realism elements to it, so to say. This combine's about full now. I'll wait till it fills up here. And there it is. Alright. Let's empty the straw out. Alright, now we're going to try to back over to the edge here without driving into the crops. Put the boom out. And then we're going to switch, which I'm actually going to be using this one uh, again because of the um, the slipping damages the fields. So I feel like the tracks will work a little bit better. And we do have to be careful. That was probably a bit fast there because with the REA mod, um, there is a lot of uh, physics here um, that the tractors will roll quite easily. Which I'm sure we'll see at some point we might have to <laughs> employ some some super strength but here we'll see if it does it in the field here at all which i'll actually I'll draw your attention to it here um bring up the mouse uh we'll start moving right here that's the slip right there this bottom right hand corner that's how you know when the um tractor is slipping or not and you'll see it on the fields here if it happens at all. While the um, this texture's on the ground, it'll look like it's almost kind of cultivated a little bit. It'll also destroy the straw if we run through the straw and it slips, it'll destroy the straw. So, a few things to be to be mindful of. <laughs> there goes our Zirian again. And that reminds me of another mod <laughs> that we have on here. We also have uh, manual discharge. Um, so we are going to have to be doing that as well. Again, like I said, it's been a while since I set this up. <laughs> I forgot probably some more mods on here. We're probably going to run across a few others. Also, to, just to mention with the lubricating grease mod, so for that one, um, 
I know this probably isn't, you know, obviously the most realistic as in real life, everything would have it. Um, but one thing that I did just to kind of simplify things a little bit, because we do still want to have fun, um, is I did limit the lubricating grease to vehicles only. So the combine, the tractors, um, even the, the sprinter van, of course, actually, I don't think the sprinter van had the lubricating grease option on there, um, but all the tractors uh, and the combine do. Um, but as far as the implements, those are just normal. There's no um, lubricating grease or anything like that on there, um, unless it's something specialized, which does need it, like the balers. Uh, they do have the twine and, you know, all that stuff. So I'm just going to get a little bit further here. And we'll get the worker started on this. Another uh, interesting that's uh, to to see is going to be a uh, when it rains uh, because I do oh and we need to speed time up I just noticed that I had it slowed down from setting everything up uh, where are we here it is uh, so we want this on like five times. Oh, nope. <laughs> Wrong button. Uh, let's go to this spot here. Okay. Done there. Up, oh. and I'm gonna start it right here. Should be good, I guess. I know it's gonna leave a little bit on the end there, but we'll come back at the end and and scoop that up. I was actually trying to get as close as I could to uh, to to this line right here, which looks like I did well enough. Oh yeah, there we go, perfect. That couldn't have been closer. <laughs> All right, so we are going to see where this is. He's finishing his last headland. I believe that's that's three. I don't know this looks like four, but I I suppose that's three. Uh, we're gonna get this and we are going to take it up to the shop and fill it with lime. should be able to handle it without issue. Driving back is a bit of a concern though. That's a, you see a tip there. And we're gonna 
go in cab here a little bit of lag jumping in cab uh, just so we can see a bit better driving through the forest here it looks like and it is a bit darker in here because of course it has the tinted windows so Ooh, <laughs> that would be terrifying in real life. But that's exactly what I was talking about with the um, REA mods. All right, let's go ahead and buy some. I actually forgot how much this thing holds. It is 20,000, all right, so we need uh, we'll just go with eight, because I know that caps us out. We'll just go with that. Actually, no, we won't. We'll do two more. Or one more. No, two more, because eight's 16 to math. And I forgot I had reset the shop. So this doesn't happen in the future. <laughs> uh, let's see, what was it? We're going to set that back to here. Well, we're going to pretend we came and got it. Oops. Now this is going to be interesting. That is one strong fence. I actually don't know if any of the fields uh, need lime. That's something that I need to check. Oh, well, actually, wait, I take that back. That has nothing to do with it because we're in precision farming. That's right. Sure. Combines out there somewhere blinking full. Looks like it's flashing on the map, so I think it is. Yep, it's sitting there. Okay. So we'll have to go take care of that here in a second. Oh, where did I have it set at? It was either over there. I believe it's over here. Let me see. Is it over here? Okay, so it's not over here because it would have been sitting right there. All right, so it's over here then. Had the shop set up from when I was um, setting the farm up and everything. Slow down so we don't tip it. Go. Probably all. Yep, there they are. I see them in the bushes there. All right. This actually works out because our telehandler is over here, and somebody would probably deliver the lime to your farm anyways you wouldn't go drive a tractor to your farm to or to the shop to, to pick it up um i just don't think i have pallet forks do i i do not so that's one thing we're going to fix uh, let's see 
We are going to do the shop thing again, just to deliver these. Tail handler tools. There it is. No grease. All right, so we got that, and then we'll just reset the shop again. I'm going to set these out of the way somewhere. Probably right here in front of the building. Okay. Luckily, these automatically disconnect and connect. But, yeah, so the hoses and everything, I think, connect on there, don't they? Or oh, they... I believe they do. I can't see. Oh, there they do not. Look at that. You have to connect that. See? Huh. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get let's go ahead and empty this real quick let's see if we get some slip here oh it looks like there was some slip right there that, was, that would have been from the combine because i do believe the combine has all-wheel drive so those back wheels do slip Almost flipped it. That's how easy it is. Absolutely got to be very careful driving this thing around. Any of the tractors, really. I mean, the Zerion's probably all right. That's probably going to be a bit more difficult to flip, especially like you saw we're driving with the the Colty plow there. That's not really going to be too crazy. But like if we took this turn right here like full speed we would be flipping. So you absolutely have to be much more conscious playing the game and they can't just, you know, just fly around everywhere. Just hate being on top of the straw like this. That should be good. Uh, let's see. I believe it's there it is. We'll let this unload and then set it back off on its way before we get back over to the um, JCB to unload those big bags. Because for the line, let's see, what's this field? Yeah, everything's bad here. Um, I'm sure every other field's going to be the same way. Actually, do you... Yeah, see, this one's bad too. I mean, it's okay. Good. But, yeah, I still want to get it taken care of. Alright, this one's done. Move this out of the way. Get this back going. Oops, too much. Yep, see it slipped there a little bit. Right there. Alright, so this. Let's try and get this all the way around. We need to go to the uh, 
to the front. Which we could just go out this gate right here, which is exactly what I think we're going to do. Ooh, don't tip. <laughs> Ooh. How many times am I going to save it before it actually does tip? this gate here especially since we have the field across here we can there we go perfect and you can definitely tell by the weight and everything and how it's not you know how the tractor's reacting you know it's not just zooming right up to top speed you know we had to get on the pavement for it to to react that way all right It's definitely high enough, yeah. Okay. Yep. I thought I could turn the tractor off while it was empty. Okay, now I can. I'll let that sit there. Get back to this. pick up four. I can pick up four. But am ooh, I'm gonna lose it here. I need to get one of those weights on the back of this thing. Look at that. I love this. This JCB Taylor Handler, man. It is, it is the best. <clears throat> All right. The next four. Oops, wrong, wrong button. Oh, boy. Bring it up like that, so we're bringing the weight back. <laughs> Is that gonna empty? <laughs> uh, that's interesting. All right. Well. Fish this one out of here. Oh, yeah, I still got the one on the ground. Hey, there we go. Let's bring this back 
in. Let's try to fish this one off the ground now. I feel like this Axion is is going to be on the uh, struggle bus big time pulling this thing. Let's move this down. Oh, you know one thing that I totally forgot to do was change the graphic settings on on this map here. Let me go ahead and start getting these unloaded and make sure I got the right uh, light setting on here. Yep, it is. Okay. So this is the, the custom lighting that I like to use as the maple farm. You can see if it's off. It's... I mean, it's not bad. I just kind of like the one that we... like this one just a little bit more. It just looks a little... slight changes. Alright, and that's done. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put this back. Oops, wrong one. Alright. And we are about 100% on here. We need to drive all the way over to the field where the Zerion is. Get the, the blinky lights going. And we're going to have to go real slow with this because this is going to want to tip super easy because of the center of gravity. Like, see, so you can just... Oh, there it is. <laughs> and I don't even think we can fix that. That's... Well, we're going to have to come back to that. Because our combine's full. I don't even know if the... Um... If the JCB can pick that up. Oh, hey, look, it's facing this way. Sweet. Maybe we don't have to do the moving or anything. Hopefully, it'll just unload for us. Yes, perfect. All right, so the worker will just unload for us. All right. So we are going to go. Trying to be realistic here, see if this can pick it up, although I highly doubt it can. Ooh. Don't want to flip this over too. Alright. 
Yeah, that's not that's not gonna do anything. Alright. Well, it's gonna have to be super strength then. do it this way because spinning oh, spinning the tractor doesn't do anything you actually have to spin the trailer because it's so heavy there we go all right turn that off and what we'll also do we'll say that um 2500 bucks for a tow company to come out and move that that's how we'll justify that So we'll set this here for now. We'll put our JCB back. Which one thing I don't believe I have, like the tow company, like as a TLX thing. I don't. I think I have that on here. Uh, oh, there's the emergency crew. <laughs> we have that. Um, all of the things that's for the what you call it oh yeah we have the fiber trailer on here to do that if we want to get into that the chemical mixing which i don't know if that would really fit well on this map uh let's see well we do have the recovery so that's straw harvest yeah we got straw harvest on here okay guess not Probably go ahead and add that after this playthrough, or you know, after this stream episode, whatever you want to call it. And I just wanted to check. This was a well, yeah, it has to be because that's milk. Okay, I was wondering if this was a, um, if this even was a cow barn, which, yes, indeed it is. So, because one thing that I would really like to do is pigs. I don't know, are there any pig farms on this map? I mean, I'm sure there is, there has to be. Uh, let's see. Bet it's over here. That's the animal dealer that has to be. Yeah, animal dealer. Maybe, what's all this? Debris crusher. Biogas plant, and that's a biogas plant. I don't know if there's another like farm on here. Lime and garden. Unless it's like one of these like in here somewhere. I think this is the only farm. Because that's biogas. There ain't just nothing else there. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And then this is all just, you know, our store and all that stuff up here is sawmill general store i think let's see yeah so i guess there's unless it's just like out in the open because i know like here see we have an animal thing and doesn't even let me 
select that. That's weird. I don't even know what this is for over here. Cheap. Okay. Which, does that show? Do I have it on the animals tab? Pig pa okay, so I got a pig pasture, chicken pasture, sheep pasture, cow barn, large and horse barn. I have no idea where any of that is. Is this a pasture? Oh, what's that? That looks like pigs over there. And I bet that's horses over there. Yeah, this has got to be pigs. That's horses. Pigs! Look at that. Look at that. We got pigs. Do they generate slurry or anything, though? Because, I mean, if we have pigs... I mean, that was kind of, I think, about the whole... Oh, hey, look! tractors I figured the whole point of pigs was you know like this slurry and stuff like that and then of course I guess selling them do we have to come into the horse pasture or is this a, I mean I guess you can technically drive through there and all the way down there okay Thing full again. Okay, we gotta take this slow. Looks like we're going to destroy some wheat here, or barley, actually I think this is barley, isn't it? Yeah, barley. And it looks like this field needs plowing as well. Yeah, oh, pff, everything needs plowing, okay. Except here. Lots of stones though. Lots of stones. And then, let's see. It doesn't say that it needs to be rolled, though, but then I guess that's after you plant the, um, the crop. Which I think, currently, we're not going to bother with planting anything because uh, of how early it is. Oh, and that was another... Th oh, well, I guess we don't need it, because we would be doing silage. But I was thinking of uh, corn header. <clears throat> mm, tipping.
pretty close there, huh? Right on the edge. <laughs> So that's already what forty something thousand liters of uh, barley. It's definitely one thing that I uh, like about this map ever since I started doing some test runs on it to start this series is it absolutely seems like you start out with some major fields. Still going. I think it's leaning. a whole lot of waiting I guess here I don't believe there's anything we need to do for the moment let's see unless you wanted to start mowing something actually where we're at here is this just a field or is there, oh wait, no, this is the cow field, isn't it? Yeah, this is the cow field. Okay. Is that something else right there? <laughs> look at that. I'm not purposely looking for these, by the way. I don't even know where any of them are. Oh, no. Oh. As I find them all. I am looking now though. <laughs> um, but I wasn't. I'm just getting those as I see them. We're not going to do like a, a hunt for them or anything like that. Just grab them as I see them. Uh, so let's see. This is, this is the sheep I think it was. Which I can't seem to access for whatever reason and I think down here was the horses oh, that's muddy I wonder if I have the mud installed I wonder if that's gonna be a problem Is, is this the chickens? It is the chickens. Oh, and we can do ducks. That's right. I kind of want to do some ducks. How would I feed them? I can't get in. I have to go all the way around from... Can I get in over here? Okay, so I can get in over here, and then I can drive in here. I might actually be able to unload from this side. I'm going to try it. Wait a minute. Okay, there it is. We're going to get ducks. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do... We're going to have an even 50 ducks. Oh, wait. Uh, 49. 
and then one lucky dude duck. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all them chickens. Uh, if you know, you know. All right, and let's see. Let's get back over to here. Actually, I want to check out. Let me start unloading first, actually. And it's facing the wrong way, of course. And then uh, while that's doing that, all right, so we have the foods. Uh, let's see which they need what. Does it tell me here? Click on this stuff? No? Okay. I just have to know what they are, what the protein, energy, and base food all are. Can I make that in a mixing wagon? Because uh, I know this is um, Maze Plus, not Terra Life. Um, But we are actually doing a playthrough here, so I don't want to waste money on getting one. I see pig food on there. Is there one for chickens? It looks like there's a horse on there, so there's something for horses. I don't see any, like, chicken pictures. I don't think I ever remember downloading this. I don't even remember what this was from. That would take more money than we even have. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we didn't reset the store. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this up and we're going to buy, we're just going to buy chicken food for now. Ooh, these windows are awful. <laughs> That's why I always like tinting the windows on the vehicles when you have the option. Because, whoa. Because um, it always seems like it makes them clear and uh, farms him. Get some chicken food. Uh, let's 
Let's see, hay pellets, seeds. Concentrate, pig, horse, there's green grist, chicken food. So that's what it looks like. That's the emblem. So then if we go back to this, Still don't see the chicken food emblem on there. All right, so yeah, so we're just gonna stick to the chicken food for now, uh, which I think, I mean, that's just wheat. Yeah, that's not chicken feed, so we don't wanna do that. Uh, let's see. Is that different than what we got? That's 160 for a thousand. Oh well, we need to buy that. Oh well, that's okay. 350. I mean, actually, that's still cheaper because that's like 310 for two. Okay, so we need to buy the right white rhino lime next time. Uh, so here we go, chicken food. Now we'll get this. Now I did get the auto load. I'm curious if this will. If these will just load in here. We got straps. Is there. pretend that the shop is letting us borrow their forklift because I am not driving the JCB down here. Yeah, and I know this is like the ultra realism thing here, but we're also just having fun too, so. Let's see. How many of these I can get in here? Okay, well, that's going to be enough there, then. Now the question is, will these unload while they're inside the truck? And I drive over the feed point. to get all eight in here. Ooh, hey now. I have a feeling this is gonna be a bad idea. drive with our doors open so I don't have to make a second trip. <laughs> Ultra realism episode quickly becoming most unrealistic. Oh, 
if we buy this again, at least next time we know that we need to go with six. I can get there from here. Yep, it's down there. We go back. Hey, this is done. All right. Excuse me. I'm not sure where I'll leave him for now. And he's ended up in a tree somehow. That's interesting. I don't even know where to begin with that one. that going again. Let's try to get in there with this. Yeah, look, they are. Ones at the back are. Should all be dumping through the ground, yep. Perfect. They need water too. I think they already I don't think they need water. Whoa. Right. 
Let's get this going back. Ooh, actually, keep hitting the wrong thing. There we go. And actually, what I'm going to go ahead and do, because I think this is going to work much better with the weight, is I'm going to go ahead and swap out the um, the lime trailer and stick that on the Ziri in here. And then we're going to use the uh, the smaller axe in there to, to, to take the Colty Plow back. Is that disconnected? I could only imagine disconnecting that in the field too. I feel like, obviously, with all that weight, that that would just like absolutely just sink. Oops. short way here, just go through the field to return that, and let's go ahead and get this guy on course play now. Alright, so we need to unfold. And we're going to go ahead and back up a little bit, because I don't know where it's going to start this. One headland because of the width on this. Yeah, 12 meters. So I should only need one. And then let's see. And it should be good. All right. Well, it's pretty lined up. Start course. Maybe should have done two. It'll be all right, though. So, you know, one thing I do like, like I said in the um, Terra Life Plus videos, uh, if you haven't seen it, is they have this Carbo line. And it, it just looks so much better, in my opinion. Good to me. Oops, it's cameras, man. I'm going to go ahead and put this back here. I'm going to check. I don't, can't remember if I filled this up or not. I did not.
This is absolutely going to have to get more lime. Alright, where is... Hey, there it is. And it's on the right side. Alright everyone, well, it's been about an hour and a half here. I'm going to go ahead and finish some of this stuff. Uh, finish some of the stuff up off uh, camera here. Um, just kind of wanted to introduce everyone to this new uh, kind of live stream, let's play kind of what's going on here because I am also streaming this over on Twitch. You'll see me on there uh, every night, um, or not every night. I wish it was every night. Um, <laughs> but, you know, life. Anyways, uh, you'll see me on there uh, Sunday. Um, Wednesday and Thursday, about 10:30 at night Eastern time. Um, but yeah, that's so that's where you can catch me if you want to see one of these streams live. Um, but that is going to be all for now. If you are watching this on YouTube and you've made it this far, uh, thank you very much for stopping by and watching the video. I uh, hope everybody has a uh, great rest of your day uh, or night, whatever time it may be, and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.